I know I have sweet wasabi, ma. Kina always rants so frequent about sweet wasabi. Now head of Nene, feel like full of sweet wasabi. Mama, Kina desperate. Kino. Oh, Nene have good brainwave. Ma? Kino, beloved sweet wasabi of Kino. Kino should imaginate it. Imaginate? Exact. Love of Kino for sweet wasabi be put to test by how well can imaginate inside noggin. If start imaginate, Kino just get double of hungry. It's not problemo. If imaginate hard, will be like having sweet wasabi right in front of eyes. From there, Nene have good plan of action. Trust insist upon. Mama? Okay then, Kino will trust. All right, talk Nene through it. What is shape of sweet wasabi? <sighs> sweet wasabi is smooth, smooth, thin long, and also a bit lumpy. And what is color? Plancy, but to eyes of Kino, it also look twink, sparkly. Nene, that the stuff. And then, and then, what smell it smell of? No, no, no. Just from remember, Kino drool a little bit. Nene also drooling, if be honest. It almost like Kino tastes sweet wasabi, just like it here, even though not here. <laughs> Okay, next, time to eat imaginated sweet wasabi. But, but, if just eat, atmosphere not quite right. Kino play hero pod. And Nene be trusty psychic, who gather sweet wasabi as tribute for hero pod. Nene will give Kino sweet wasabi, so Kino can eat and enjoy. Ah, Kino get it. Mimi, noble Kino, behold, is sweet wasabi that Nene pick. Please to eat and be hearty. Mama, this is most delicious experience of eating life. Brave Kino, this unworthy psychic travel all across Bionis. <clears throat> Even had to play tag with Rockfoot one time. Sister upon that amazing! Nene overcome many a scuffle scratch to obtain this sweet wasabi. Please to save a mouthfeel. Kino will. Kino eat every last bit, including steps. How is flavor? Here upon Kino. This. Meme? Number? All right, we go in search of tasty crumbles. Let's go. I will take dominion over all, and the world will be set to right. <laughs>
Okay, build up. Okay, build up. I know your place. Who did you pick you up there? Like, you are in your place, you bug. For your place, you is. That one. Right, it's definitely not on the other side. Excuse me, they can't move and they can't hit. And let's try this out guys. Alright, what should I do? Every attack major damage to one. Hail or this one. Oh, this damage, oh. <laughs> so weird, no, actually. I did it! I did it! I... I know I am not wrong. I'm not! I will spare you. Just be gone from my sight. No! The lab! Maria! Miss Maria! No! Idiot! <laughs> the crown is mine now. Talon! This is hell! Better safe than sorry. The pure blood meets its end today! Are you okay, Dylan? Telethia, here! Damn! She's okay. She's all right. I'm sorry. I couldn't save. <gasps> the future.
Melia! Miss Melia! Keenan, you did it! Applause. Where? We're in Ratsum's house. The lab went up in flames, so we carried you here. The lab? <gasps> I'm sorry, Teelan. I failed you. Miss Malia. You damn fool! What possessed you to do that? What happened to safeguarding the future of the Hyentia? And bringing our brethren back home, were those just words to you? You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us! Come on, big sis. That's enough! Don't defend her. This idiot child! I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. The research. How can you be so fixated on that? Our salvation lies therein. I believe it now. Melia! And yet... Ultimately, it was for naught. I caused trouble for everyone. And I couldn't even save the documents. Poor Miss Melly. That's not true. If you and your friends hadn't come when you did... There might not have been anything left of the research to continue with. And also... Here. What's this? It's the book you carried out of the fire. Ring any bells? <gasps> this tome? We found it in the tomb? Yeah. The book that started my research. If we have this, me and Tyrea can carry on with our work. Sis, are you with me? Uh, yeah, right. We can study the problem until we make some headway. Miss Melia, thank you. Likewise. Teelan. Tyrea. You've only just woken up. Come on, we'll let you rest. Yes, thank you. What's that for? Can I use triple snooze for sea sweet dreams that seem extremely excessive? <laughs> <laughs> this might just be what we need to defeat the Fog King. Yeah. Feeling better? Yes. Much better now. What a relief. Miss Melly, good as new. Kino saved day again. Less braggy, please. Friends, I'm sorry I worried you. And I abused your hospitality. Please forgive me. No. You saved this place and we owe you. Big time. This was the least I could do. I will not stop now. I swear to do what I can for the good of Grandel. I appreciate it. Just don't go running yourself ragged for us. I promise. We seem to be missing Tyrea. Oh, if you're looking for her, she figured the fog beasts might strike again, so she went out on patrol. The likes of us aren't exactly trained for battle. So, really, any help is welcome. You're right. I feel sorry for any beasts that wander into Tyrea's path. <laughs> By the way, did I hear you mention something about defeating the Fog King? All thanks to our friend's research. Is that so? Quite. A sterling achievement, Teelan. Just an accident. Still, even so, your devotion to your mother may well have saved our future. <laughs> All right. What do we have to do? How do we defeat the Fog King? We found ether attacks effective against fog beasts, but not against the Fog King. That's because the ether's concentration was too low. Concentration? Concentration? Pipe down when adults talking, dum dum. But Kino's so bored. The whole thing got me wondering: why did fog beasts appear when the rift got wider? 
I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Telethia's ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the Fog King? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Telethia's, the Fog King will become vulnerable. How does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job with a little tinkering. In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high purity ether crystals, except. Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be none at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion. And in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them. Hmm, true enough. Good. Then let us start by asking around. Okay, so to defeat, ask Grandia Mint members about Hus. You can do that and do quests because I do believe. So I can't talk to you. Are you up? Damn it! Hey, okay. Please listen to me. It's really sad. The wedding ring. Let's make a ring. Okay, let's do it. No problem. Leave it to soak. Watch you up there. Okay. And there's you. And there's just, it's just opened a whole lot of quests again. What's up? A high easy crystal, huh? Well, it's the first I've heard of it. But now that I think about it, I might actually have a rough idea about where to find one. I hope it's what you're looking for. Blast, you know what? I can't recall. That was a long ago, so my memory's a little hazy. Sorry, your best bet might be asking a fellow squadsman of mine who's on the rampart and bound to no more. Like, what? What are you, sir? Like, what good are you? You, sis! You, sis! I'm just going to pick up all these quests and then I'll be back. Right, I've got most quests completed. Where, where's Ava? I think you know enough or not yet because I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough. Why are you? Hello. A high ether crystal. I think I know what you're getting at here. I'm not entirely sure on the location, but I do know there's supposed to be a very rare ether deposit in the area. Um, an old lady called Sarja told me about it. You might be better off talking to her for more details. I got interest in myself and even tried searching around. Oh, this is a place. Oh my god, I couldn't find a thing. What Sarja told me, there's a good chance of it inside of a cave. That's why I thought it was a place to start. Alas, if it really is in the cave and it's not there, then I'm stoked. Still, that doesn't mean much. There'll be other places to check. I can't say for certain, of course, but I do think that we're talking about the same thing here. I expect you'll find Sarja at Hero's Rest, down at the south end of Grand Deal. 
The kind old bird always worried about our welfare and that. Anywho, better get back to my shift. Hope I was able to help a little. Oh, I'm, I'm dreading opening this map. Oh no. I'm... Oh yeah, on here. Very well. The badman. Badman the pre rock. They already took him out. This time he's probably been spawned. I don't think he's been Let's go. <coughs> oh my god, cottages. I still have my pop cop. I'm no longer dying as much. I'm dying. <laughs> but I'm dying. Yes, and the guard at the ramparts told you, didn't he? He and my late friend were on good terms. Naturally, I had to regale the man with tales of my friend's escapades. I believe the one that may be of particular interest to you is this time his his friend, a high end man, discovered a crystal. He was a real go getter, that man, always trapsing around, or traipsing around, just exploring. From the day he set foot on the shoulder, he would tell me all sorts of stories from his adventures to entertain little old me. I remember it like yesterday. The sky was a brilliant blue, birds were singing. I'd come to pay my respects at the graveyard like any other day. And then along he came with the biggest smile on his face and took out an object wrapped in cloth. Said he found a strange crystal alongside an ether deposit. And what a light it gave off. The cloth it was wrapped in wasn't enough to stop it shining through. Ah, it was a sight to behold. Car was translucent, yet it gave off a pale glow. Warm, yet somehow ice cold. It was like being bathed in a turquoise sunlight. I'd never seen anything more beautiful, and I don't believe I will. Sadly, it dwindled to nothing in a matter of minutes. If there had been anything left of it, I would have kept it as a memento, I'm sure. I remember him telling me how incredibly large the deposit was, drooping down from the sea and the bulb. From his descriptions, I imagine it may have looked something like a... S I can never say this word. Stala. Stala. My tongue got twisted. Stala. Tight. <laughs> Which is why I'm convinced that it must have been in some sort of cavern. And despite the deposit size, the crystal hero tree fit comfortably in the palm. It must have been formed over a long period of time. Ideally, he could have told you exactly where it was located, but I'm afraid that's not possible because he's sleeping here quite peacefully now and cannot really be disturbed. Oh, I'm sorry I wasn't able to show you my exact location, my dear. Still, I hope that my little anecdote was of some use to you. I pray that you too will be able to find what you seek. Thank you, Sarge. This is going to be of great help to us. We better report back to Razam. Mm. Something on your mind. So that's how things are. It seems we owe Miss Saja and her friend a debt of gratitude for the value information they provided us. It's just my conjecture, but the crystal may have been highly responsive to heat and sublimated. Yeah, to expose to sunlight. It's fascinating, isn't it? I have to say, its properties are quite unusual. And I agree with Saja. I think that it would be found in a cave, like she said. So the soldier said he already searched Nerthus Necropolis, huh? All right, let's think of the other options then. If you follow Fine Line, Fine Line, I don't know what that accent was then, which breaks off from Thulesway towards the northwest, you'll reach the Forbidden Bushland. It's a dangerous place though, so it hasn't been mapped out very thoroughly. Nevertheless, there is meant to be a cave-like location thereabouts. The man who found the crystal must have been a formidable swordsman. It may be from him that news of the cave existence reached us. Very worthy. I pray that you find a high ether crystal there indeed. You are the only ones who can, we can rely on to harvest it, I'm afraid. Good luck, and if you don't find the high ether crystal, be careful to keep it away. Or if you do, keep it away from the strong light as you carry it back. Okay, quest complete. Oop! Quest and. Where to go? Okay. Uh. Say, nah, big spider in here, and I don't like it. 
Oh, there's a spider in here and I don't like it. I don't like the spider. I don't like the spider at all. Oh my god. Come on, let's view this. Have a little peace. And tranquility. Mr. Shelk stopped so sudden. I was just thinking about the cave near Colony 9. Do you know it, Nene? It's called Tefra Cave. Nene, no place. Nene tag along once with group of Hom Hom. Went to fetch ether cylinders. I've done that too sometimes. Went with Ryan a couple of times. Meme, hooray for twinsies. Nene went there during rebuilding effort. So you did your part to help Nene. Thanks for that. It not thing that needs thanks per se. Just doing civic duty. Must stay friends and work together. With all peoples that live in world. <laughs> That's right. But folk here have a lot of angry kerskuffles. Fight between neighbors bad. Should watch Nene and Kino. Learn to everyone play nice. Well... I wouldn't say the people here are enemies, exactly. They just... don't know how to work out their feelings. That just... fancy way of saying fighting? It's not exactly like fighting. Both sides do understand each other, but their paths took them in different directions. What Mr. Shock mean? If the two sides had simply hated each other, they wouldn't just leave. They tried to drive the other side out by force. But that's not what they did. They still have common ground to stand on. And Melly is here now. They just need some time to mull things over. Mr. Shulk is very kind person. Very different from Mama Pon. When Nene and Kino get into bad fight, Mama Pon spank first, then ask questions. Nene and Kino always in tears, but always say sorry and make up with hug hug. End of end, friendship become much stronger. Being friends mean a whole lot more fun, and more fun is more good. Also, everyone in Colony 9 was friends from start of start. Well, that's because everyone there was working to help rebuild. We all share the same dream. But dreams of people here, all really all that different from each other. For now, I guess. But Melly is doing the best she can, and we need to as well. Nene understand. Nene will wait until Miss Melly and make dreams of everyone mush together as one. But if dream of Miss Melly not go through to everyone, in that case, Nene will... Nene will... And no one spared, even not Mr. Shulk! What? Me as well? <laughs> Just promise to be gentle. Oh wow, Nene. Um... Okay. Let's look at the hair back side. Vicious spunkings. Okay, don't get it. <laughs> look at them little guys following. Oh my god, they're adorable. Adorable. Yeah, there's a sm there's 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 a spider around. And yes, I might be able to avoid the really horrible spider. Maybe. Oh my, just... Oh, I'm so confused. I've just got myself so turned around. <gasps> Never take it. Never take it. But 
literally, I am confused resist. No, I am not confused resist. I am just plain old confused. Side go this way. Let's go this way. Avoid that guy. And the game's like, yeah, you need to go around. There's. Are you absolutely. I see you right now. Is that my last thing I needed? Hang on. <gasps> it is! Oh my god, I finally completed one! Yeah. Wait. I didn't complete it. That one? Or can I go this one? So these guys still. Mm -hmm. oh, shoot. Tangling. Oh no! Oh no! Whoa! 